Hello everyone and welcome! This is The Silent K and today we're playing some HBS Battletech. And I want to jump into missions as soon as possible, but first we do have a couple modifications to make. First and foremost, I want this Cockpit Mod Plus uh, for 2 Injury Resistance on Hoser's Ride. And then also I wanted to drop 4 Heat Sinks to make room for this Exchanger, which I think is a step up heat-wise. Uh, yeah, um, we should only be building up 6 heat per alpha strike now. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> I thought you would be. Um, I feel like if anything, we might even be able to drop a heat sink to add a little armor. But I don't want to push it. We'll uh, we'll we'll try it like this and see how it runs. And then if it if it feels like it's running too cool, then maybe I'll consider right. dropping a heat sink. Uh, next up, uh, I'm thinking the battle master. The battle master, I think, is going to get. Let's move the rangefinder out of the head. Oh. Oh, it's head only? Okay, well, um, I'd rather have the other cockpit mod in the Battlemaster than the Rangefinder, for sure. And then that means that the Victor... Ah, uh, do I keep the Victor with the Rangefinder? Or do I install one of the comm systems? I know one of the comm systems is definitely going into the Highlander. <laughs> yes! Um, yes, uh, rocking the appropriate shirt to the game. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you noticed. Um, and McGorilla, how's it going? Uh, wow, I'm a little behind on the chat there. Depends on what terrain we're running in. Yeah, um, on the colder climates, uh, the heat exchanger is going to be worth less than the heat sinks that it's replacing, but most of the biomes that we've been in have been pretty warm biomes, I want to say. Um, so the question at hand, do we swap the rangefinder double plus for the comm system plus? Uh, considering that we're going to have plenty of resolve, from our morale and from the comm system in in the Highlander. I was thinking we drop a heat sink for armor in some colder biomes. Okay, so like tailor it to the mission. Uh, yeah, we can do that. And with the Victor, I think I'm gonna leave it in scout mode with the rangefinder. So let's see, we're done with the ship upgrades, we're done with the mech warriors, I think. Are we still sitting at 2,110? Yep, yes, we are. What other contracts do we have on this planet? Four skulls. I'm thinking I want to start pushing into the four and a half, five skull territory. I want to start taking on atlases. I think we can handle it. Uh, in the meantime, though, destroy base desert, destroy base polar. Uh, let's try it in the desert first. Um, actually, first, let's go ahead and get the... Uh, the cockpit, the um, comm system installed in the Highlander. Uh, yeah, we've got nothing in the head of the Highlander, and this is a travesty. Log and note. All right, so back to the Argo. It auto stops when Yang says his that thing. You is <laughs> Just wants more headshots. Um, I mean, against an Atlas, it really is uh, the easiest way to take them down. I think. All right, we're doing a four skull destroy base for max salvage against the local pirates. Oh, Medusa's. Wounded. I had not noticed that actually. How long is he out for? Two more days? Yeah, we'll wait two days. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. 
Yes, that is fine. We're now actually kind of dangerously We're nearly broke, Commander. low on sea bills. In Rogue Tech, it was fashionable to run a 7 or 8 uh, headshot mech long version ago. Um, yeah, uh, headshot mechs are, are definitely... Definitely, uh, I think, maybe overpowered a little bit. There we go. Got everyone, we've got everything. Oh, seven or eight large laser headshot mech. Um, how do you get seven or eight large lasers? Well, I guess in Rogue Tech, you've got access to XL engines and endosteel, so probably a grasshopper has the hard points for that. Uh, you drop the... The jump jets, that would save up enough tonnage for at least one more. I'm guessing Grasshopper was a popular mech for that build. Grasshoppers make great energy boats. But you'd still have to hit the head with at least two large lasers to get the, uh, the kill. But with seven or eight shots, you're hitting at least one out of every... Uh, alpha Strike on average. Some of the top clan, you can mount anything. I see. Yeah, I'd forgotten about clan tech and all of that glory. Oh wow, this is a cool map. Time to get dirty. So what have we got here? Reinforced buildings? None of these are a generator, are they? <laughs> Big sunken city, I like this map. It does have its challenges though. Yeah, like being able to get up this ramp to shoot down into the... I don't know, is that like crater? Reinforced buildings there, reinforced buildings there. What is that? Is that a shield generator? Or is that just a random building? Uh, do we come to the right? It looks like that's pretty easy passage. This feels like a map from a mech game I played. A big manufacturing facility. Yeah, um, it does have that feel to it. Affirmative. Uh, didn't want to go quite that high. Aye, aye. Mech assault? <laughs> um, I never got that far into mech assault, I couldn't tell you. Maybe it's an HPG generator and Silent K is destroying lost tech. Um, I mean, it looks like some kind of drilling facility or mine of some kind. <laughs> Reporting Silent K to Comstar uh, for destruction of Lost Tech. Please don't. That would absolutely ruin my career. Okay, something with a PPC. A 75 tonner with one PPC. Cataphract is 70 tons, if I'm not mistaken. 75 tons with a PPC. PPC, I guess. And a demolisher. I did not think that was going to be quite such a heavy tank. Firing all weapons. Yeah, we're going to need to reinforce that Victor. 
Yeah, cataphract is 70 tons. Okay, did he hit? I was not paying attention. It doesn't look like we got hit by an auto cannon. Receiving you. And he's turned his strong side towards us. Well, here's hoping. Got it. Okay, okay. We didn't get. We got through the armor, but we didn't get the kill. Enemy detected. Oh, is that another demolisher, or is that maybe a Shrek? seriously not get the kill oh my goodness and someone is trying to get out oh what am I missing systems holding okay one sec guys no it's cold as hell she'll be back it's cold out <laughs> there's a front coming through so it's like below 50 degrees out there. Well, I guess that gives us hit three times just on the right side. I thought he also got the front. That was the left side. Yeah, the left side and the front, because the victor hit him on the right side. Oh. <laughs> It's warm by you, we're in the 30s. Yeah, it's supposed to get down below 30 tonight, but it's not there yet. Uh, and once again, I'm wishing I had um, multi-target on this guy. Uh, well. Wow, that was quite the miss. Where were you even aiming? No shooting? Okay, I'm curious to see Roger that. how Hoser's heat builds up under continuous fire. Oh, what else have we got there? Now let's see how you handle this. Honestly, that was probably not the best move. Not with the Demolisher on the field. Ouch. Commander. Yeah, let's focus on the Demolisher first. Two Autocannon 20s is scarier than two PPCs. I'm not offering you up as a sacrifice. Uh, I admitted that that was not the best move. Okay, so that's the left side starting to get beaten up a little bit. Oh, and there's the turrets. Or a turret, at least. Precision shot time. Uh... I mean, we have the morale for it. Lifting off. Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. Oh, great. I really need this demolisher down and out. Oh, and a catapult. Maybe sniper turret. This the auto cannon. To the front. The auto cannon and the two mediums. Ah, well, you know what? If we're gonna. We might as well. We might as well do it. Let's see if we can get the kill All with the auto cannon ten. Nope. 
But we are wailing into that right torso pretty severely. the side and not the front. I need this demolisher down and out. ASAP. Demolishers are scary. Scarier than fire starters, I would say. And bam, just like that, armor resolve is full again. Man. It's nice having the Argo fully upgraded with all the morale boosting items. Why does he keep only shooting with one PPC? I mean, I get he doesn't have the heat sinks to fire them both continuously, but occasionally? Ultra AC 20 demolishers? Yeah, that's. Oof, that's 80 points of damage coming downstream, downrange every turn. That's pretty brutal. Try to one shot this catapult, maybe we'll get lucky. Engaging target. AC 20, yeah, 100. I, I, I have a, an easier time thinking of it in tabletop terms. I know. Uh, it's, a, it's a hard habit to break. I know AC 20s do 100 points of damage in this game. All the armor values are multiplied by 5, and I think all the heat values are multiplied by 3, but it's just. Difficult for me to do the conversion on the fly sometimes. But yeah, 400 points of what, of damage per turn Standing is by. pretty nuts. Waiting for orders. Confirm. Let's see if we soften anything up. And then we'll follow that with Hoser with the cold shot, wherever it seems weakest. Just looks like it's gonna be that torso. We save Hoser for last. I really don't want him to be out front any longer than necessary. Alright, 89%, 95% to hit. Hopefully all three of them slam into that torso, rip off the AC. And go into the center torso. Okay, so we got one of his PPCs down at least. But he's still got one and he has only been using one. A couple of autocannon twos, scratching the paint a little bit there. Be as evasive as possible if we're turning our back on potential enemies. Jumping. Got it. That hit something good. 
we got the leg. We went internal on the torso. Melee time. Um. Could be. Uh, let me see whatever. The awesome heat is starting to creep upwards. Uh, the battle master, likewise, is pretty hot right now. No, not what I was. Yeah. Maybe it's not melee time this turn. Perhaps next Got turn. It. Let's just go for the core, I think. Still building up it. So yeah, the Battlemaster could definitely use some better heat management. Maybe we could find another heat bank for it. I didn't see that coming. I didn't realize. Didn't realize his armor was getting that thin. Also, he took a head hit. Awesome's left torso was taking a beating. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, too late, I guess, but I noticed. I thought the victor should melee rat last round. Um, you're probably right. <laughs> probably would have been a good move. Um, considering that the victor really doesn't have the, uh, the firepower that the other mechs have. Let's see, if the left torso is busted, we need to show the right side to them. On my way. Do we try for the double head hit, or do we go for the torso? I think the torso is the safer bet. We're still gonna be taking fire from the uh, turrets. Inflicted some heavy damage. Catapult's taking longer to kill than I had hoped for. It means that all the turrets get free shots now. Okay, I'm thinking the victor goes in for a melee this turn, takes a cooldown, uh, comes into that right side. Not the front, not the back, I want that right side. Is that not a thing I can do? Well, in that case, I guess we go for the back. 16, 31, 66. We hit him in the left torso rear, that's gonna not transfer enough to kill him. We hit him in the left torso front, we're barely gonna penetrate the armor, so I think the rear is the better shot. Of course we could always hit him center torso and get the kill. 
Or we could, you know, leg him or arm him or something. Scored a critical hit. <laughs> Spanked that mech? Yeah, uh, hit him pretty hard, I would say. And now we're gonna go for the... Can we go for the... Let's go for the catapult. We'll give someone else the kill on the Marauder. confusing for for me as well <laughs> uh, I want to show my right side as much as possible Move order received. it's hoping to be slightly evasive but got it take, taking out the enemy spotters target neutralized <laughs> you gotta has the missile pod still alive yeah the cat didn't die. Hoser's taking a hit. Yes. Lighter colored spots. Oh, okay. So he's not injured yet. I see. And then Medusa has the other one. That was overkill. Um, yeah, and this is likely to be overkill as well. Um, considering... Can we get in a double kit, a double shot? Position confirmed. Oh, Medusa doesn't have multi-target. Well, that's a shame. The, the Marauder has to die, though. Uh, however, we don't need to overheat to do it. Firing on top. Hook pick. Hey, how's it going? Target <laughs> Unfortunately, this Highlander does not have jump jets. There will be no Highlander burial today. Minimal it does have a Gauss rifle that's super effective, though. to the back of the victor who has no evasion anymore and who really can't back tank any more than he already has. Alright, who goes first? Yeah. I'm thinking either the Battlemaster or the victor. That's a lot. 232 points. Yeah, we're inside his medium minimum range for sure. It wasn't so hard to destroy as I was afraid of. The Battlemaster really needs a cooldown turn, though. Engaging target. 
<laughs> didn't look like it hit his arm, but apparently it did. I think I hit something good. The gas would be better if it hit. It didn't look like it hit, but then the armor diagram showed it took a lot of damage to the right arm, so I'm not sure if it hit or not. It looked like it kind of glitched out visually. I don't think the large laser was enough to strip all the armor off, is it? I know Jaeger mechs have paper armor, but a large laser by itself I don't think would be enough to strip it. Or am I wrong? But yeah, if the Gauss missed, then absolutely, it would have been better if it had hit. Poser on the very edge of the fight. I'd say that was a good use of, of yep. the resolve. Standing Master needs a cooldown turn. Victor needs to not have anyone in his rear arc. Oh, don't tell me I turned too far. No, okay, we're good. Oh, is that a thunderbolt over there? I copy. Target's taking a critical hit. Maybe the lip of the crater is not the best place to be standing with all those turrets. We'll just have to finish off the Jaeger. He said confidently. Mediums are the large, and I think the mediums are more effective. Oh, I should have used more resolve. I didn't realize that was the last move of the turn. Uh, 
next step is definitely going to be getting the victor the heck down and out from there. his left arm so I want to show my right side. Acknowledged. Does the Battlemaster pilot have- yes he does! I had forgotten all about that. Uh, thank you for reminding me. Confirmed. But the, moving the victor down out of sight of the turrets was priority move. But yeah, um, Battlemaster can drop some heat with a special ability that I forgot about. I appreciate the, the reminder. See if we can get a single kill or uh, a one shot kill over here on this cataphract. Seventeen percent, slightly less than normal, but we haven't gotten lucky in a little while. I feel like we're due. Shot, yes, indeed. I copy. Got it. And the Thunderbolt's not in great shape either. Masters also starting to show some wear and tear. Yes, Commander. I don't know if I want to be up there. Hey, how's it going? Um, we are uh, cleaning up pretty steadily. There's uh, apparently two enemy mechs and some turrets left. Uh, honestly, we've kind of been ignoring the actual objective, which is destroying these buildings. Commander. Position confirmed. The biome is messing with our ability to dissipate heat, but, um, we're hanging in there. Not taking too much damage, fortunately. Uh, Hoser opened up his left torso, which is why he's keeping his right side to everything. that line go? Uh, over there to large reinforced building. Uh, we can get direct eyes on the Thunderbolt. Yeah, let's do that and maybe we'll take out some turrets next. Holes <laughs> are opened it. I said we are... I didn't say we. I said um, 
it happened to him. I didn't say he did it. Or at least it was my intention to say that it happened to him, not that he did it. Five tonner. How much do you want to bet it's another marauder? Well, he didn't move when the incoming fire arrived, so. Imagine you slipped and fell down there. Uh, into that hole? Yeah, that would be bad. targets that aren't the one I'm trying to shoot at. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yes, I did kind of throw him into the front of the battle. My apologies. <laughs> I know Hoser doesn't like to be at the front. couldn't go back far enough for the clip of what you said. Ah, uh, sorry. It'll be on YouTube. Immortalized. Ready for orders. Roger. Oh, the victor's actually running hot. I hadn't noticed until just now. <clears throat> Maybe I should have kept one of those medium lasers out of action for this turn. Evasive, guarded, and entrenched. Let's see if we can overcome all of those defenses. With some good old fashioned headshots. Wow, I was not expecting to get so lucky. I. <laughs> I did not think that was going to happen. Moving to position. <laughs> nice. Taking the shot. <laughs> Shoot it at the very top of that little spire and the whole thing comes down. Order received. 
needs a hundred. We don't need the large laser for that. Taking the shot. Get your lance to the LZ commander. I'm coming in hot. <laughs> I don't think he did either. Uh, expect the headshot, you mean? Yeah. Um, so wait a minute. That's, oh, there's still a turret left. That's still two turrets left. Is that... Is that the turret generator right there? How about that? Actually, where is the LZ? Oh, it's right here? Well, heck, we'll just go to the LZ then. No point in taking any more damage than we have to. Uh, there's two turrets, and I really didn't feel like taking the chance of um, taking like a lucky head hit or something like that. I know it's probably worth like an extra 10% credits, but the, or C bills, but the C bills are only going to be like 90,000 anyway, I think. Yes, everyone line up nice and orderly. Orders? Ready for orders. Location confirmed. Stabilizing and bracing. Copy that. Taking a protective stance. I'm always afraid it's gonna glitch out and smush one of my mechs. Mission successful. Okay, yeah, so... 90% or 90,000 sea bills plus 35%, something like that. That was close. No one got hurt, even though we did take a head hit. Uh, the awesome did go internal. Just a, ooh, the awesome almost left it, lost its left torso. I'm gonna have to be more careful with that. I'm not really interested in an SRM2, no matter how many, how many pluses it has. <laughs> I love it, we are the champions. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we kicked some pretty serious butt there. Yeah, I think that's our picks. We also got a catapult part, an autocannon 20, some lasers, some heat sinks, and some ammo. You can take a complete cataphract? Yeah, I could have, but I didn't feel the need to. I know for the last mission we're supposed to have multiple lances. That mech you wanted is back on 
I don't know if we want to have multiple assault lances or if it's uh, worthwhile to keep a medium or a heavy lance in reserve. But um, honestly, I feel like I've got enough. Oh wow. Yeah, I haven't put anything in storage for a little while. <laughs> Uh, so what do we take out of storage for the last mission? Do we take anything out of storage? Do we put stuff into storage? I don't think I want the trebuchet, necessarily. do have enough for three lances here, just with what we've got. We've got three parts of the Atlas, one part of the King Crab, one part of the Highlander, which we're probably never going to find any more of. What's the weight limit? Um, I'm not sure. I think there's a hard cap of 390, or if not 400. Uh, maybe it's, is it 395? You can take 300 tonners? I don't know. <laughs> uh, and I don't know what the weight limit is for your backup lances on the final mission. Um, I assume they're full weight capacity. Alright, what do I have all of? I've got a grasshopper, I might want to take that out of storage. Two catapult C4s. Uh, and a C1. We've got a Thunderbolt and a Dragon. Three Griffin, or four Griffins altogether. A Kentaro, a Shadowhawk, two Shadowhawks. A Centurion, a Wolverine. Three Trebuchets, a Hunchback, two Blackjacks. A Cicada. A Firestarter, a Jenner. Two Commandos. If you can, I'd go big or go home. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the plan. Um, right now I've got, other than the Grasshopper, I've got all my heaviest mechs out there. Got it. Wouldn't be long. Maybe not the Spider. Is that our two lances? 90, 85, 80, 80, 80, 75, 75, 75. With another 75 and a 70 for backup. All right, so that was in a desert environment. Uh, for a polar, was it polar or arctic? And what's the difference? Anything worthwhile in the store? We raided the store when we got here, and we actually raided it for a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got the, uh, the cockpit mods, we got the comm system, um, I feel like we got some, oh yeah, and a heat bank. Um, I don't think it's updated since then. Polar. Heat exchanger. Um, was it a heat exchanger? I know we got a heat bank. Yeah, there is another heat bank here as well, but it's not as good as the one we've got. And yeah, it was a heat exchanger we got, not a heat bank. A heat bank in increases your threshold, the heat exchanger replaces your heat sinks. Yeah, the heat bank feels kind of worthless to me. Um, it's not worth the, the, the tons or the slots, I don't think. Not if you're running a mech that's sufficiently heat efficient. Which I feel like most of our mechs are. Um, 
The Highlander and the Victor, or the Highlander mainly runs really cold, even in the desert. Victor maybe a little less cold. The, um, the Battlemaster and the Awesome need a little help. Uh, let's see, there's also three stalker parts in, in the store, but um, we can't afford any of them right now. Um, I mean, we probably could if we sold enough things, but that would be a pain in the butt. I mean, how badly do we want three stalker parts? Do we have any stalker parts to begin with? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't have any 85 tonner parts at all. So I'm thinking trade partials that you're never going to use. That's true. Like this locust. Like this locust. This is going to take a little while. Uh, it would be quicker to do this from the store, wouldn't it? Uh, we want selling. Uh, do we have parts? Max. Do we have parts of Max on here, or do we just have to scrap them one by one like that? Because I feel like these are only complete Max that we've got. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to do this one by one. fire starters. Oh, Vanilla, with your quality of life issues. We love you anyway. Really missed this Jenner part over here. They fix this in the expansion packs? Yeah, I should hope so. This is a bit tedious. Forces are good max. Unfortunately, we don't really have much use for them right now. They haven't come across any recently, so we're probably not going to have enough parts to finish one. 
Same thing with the Centurion. I feel like we haven't seen one of those in quite some time. Wolverine, we might have been able to finish that one, but we already have one, so I'm not too worried about that. Same thing with the Shadowhawk. I mean, no hate for the Shadowhawk. Even the 2H has its place, but it's not my favorite mech, and we already have one besides. Kentaro. Same thing, I'm not worried about getting a second Kentaro in storage. And just like that, we've got enough for three parts of a stalker. New equipment available. Now hopefully we can get a fourth part of a stalker at some point. Destroy base in a polar environment? Or, you know what, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do this mission and then we're probably gonna try to go somewhere that maybe has four and a half skull or even five skull missions. I don't like feeling like I'm out of my depth, but oh wait, the awesome's not ready yet. Because no time has actually passed. <laughs> that work order you submitted is complete. Greetings, Commander. Come on in. Um, I mean, we're okay, Varank, with going in the hot, the awesome, uh, in its current state, right? We had talked about that stalker in chat, the sad piece we left lying on the battlefield. It wasn't on the battlefield, it was in the store. Um, yeah, I never would have seen the other three pieces if I'd picked up that one. Um, I mean, I, I didn't even see them myself, it was, that was you that pointed them out to me. <laughs> So, the awesome, we're going to see how heat efficient it is. Uh, yes, the heat exchanger is on the awesome. Uh, the battle master, I feel like, could use one as well. But we'll have to keep an eye out for them. Hmm. Cool. That is actually the point. Don't forget to kit out the grasshopper. Yeah, I saw the little the little triangle icon next to it. <sighs> um, honestly, I'm not sure I'm going to use the grasshopper. I just wanted to have it out of um, out of storage just in case we ended up uh, using it. Command interface initiated. All right, so the Highlander is going to be massively oversunk for this mission. Victor's our scout back. I copy. Unfortunately, we can't engage this turn because we have no option but to sprint. means all of their turrets can indirect fire to their heart's content.
Fortunately, they're not costing us anything yet except evasion. Ready for orders. Heavy sniper turret, heavy LRM turret. Affirmative. Hundred and sixty is not gonna be enough. On either one. Two PVCs and four auto cannons or fifty LRMs. Uh that's a tough call, honestly. Did it just build up no heat? at all. Snowland is nice for the awesome. He makes slushies wherever he walks. Him and the Battlemaster both. on that just in case splitting fire all right we gotta start we gotta start all right Islander Running cool, of course. We've got, oh, we've got a quick draw over here. 65 tonner there. Is it worth it? I mean, we're gonna make it up in no time. Oh, he's way more evasive than I had thought. It's either a medium or it's a heavy with bonus initiative. Maybe a no, I don't think that was enough for a catapult. Okay, we've got a blackjack. Okay, we're starting to take a little bit of damage now. That didn't hurt too bad. Waiting for orders. I think it only needs a hundred points to go down. Let me... How much? Yeah, a hundred is definitely enough to do it.
I copy. Oh no. Light damage, Commander. Yeah, for now. Wait until a couple turns from now once it starts to accumulate. Jump, catching that communique. Okay, we really just need to hit him with one medium laser. That's only ninety five. Engaging multiple targets. How have we missed this turret twice in the last two two rounds? I knew I should have put both lasers on him. I really wanted him dead. But I thought the odds of missing him again were just too slim. multi-target so what do we take out we've got these nods to hit the quick draw time for a breathalyzer check yeah literally two of them missed s sitting targets So do we go for the quick draw's head again? Literally any hit would do it. This should be good. Oh, oh I forgot to calculate in his damage reduction. So he's still not dead. Which means, oh, and they've got a catapult. A catapult and a polar biome. That's uh, the effective tool you've got there. Yeah, that feels like another catapult.
Alright, Decker, if you would please. Can we please kill these two turrets? Okay, all of these should hit, but we're playing by XCOM rules here. Copy that. Okay, should be a double kill for Decker. Oh, we finally got that one turret that we just could not hit. Draw is also choosing to be stubborn. Ready for orders. Some damage made him unsteady. Wasn't the kill I was hoping for. Yep. Got it. Copy that. Oh, that looked like a lucky head hit. That was a lucky head hit. Gotcha. <laughs> if you had Earl there, you know he wouldn't pass the breathalyzer. He is fueled by frustration and alcohol. <laughs> Exactly, just like most middle-aged men. Is it time to start destroying some buildings and getting out of here? Victor's not going to be able to take too much more of this. Blanking. Reporting. Major armor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Firing jump jet. Oh, I thought that was the blackjack. Um, oh, the blackjack's out of reach. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I think the Wolverine is, is the correct choice in this situation. It's gotta go. Still a kill. Commander. Can't tell if I've got eyes on the blackjack from any of these spots. Yeah, I think that's it. And again, the Wolverine's already taken a beating. Blackjack is honestly probably a bigger threat than the Wolverine, though. Ooh, or the sniper turret. Yeah, the sniper turret gotta go. It has the four auto cannons plus the two PPCs, and it's gonna go down quicker than either of those max. Waiting for orders. Move into position. Firing on target. Okay, so the right side's starting to get weak. Right side's starting to get pretty weak. Taking heavy hits, Commander. Waiting for orders. Hmm. All right, I'm up again. Confirmed. by. On my way.
So in the back of the Wolverine, which is not a bad target. Oh, time to go. You're out of here. All right. Well, was good hanging with you. Uh, I'm glad you could make it for the time that you were able to. And yeah, I'll I'll do my best to take care and take care of these fine mechs that I've been entrusted with. go. Triple PPCs to the right rear torso for the kill. On my way. I like it. Yeah. I thought you might. Almost half of his firepower down. Unfortunately, he can still spot for the LRMs. To the back of the victor, which I said I wasn't going to expose. But I did anyways. Uh, don't be a warhammer. Don't hit me in the back with PPCs. Okay, at least that's the right side, not the green. Ooh, right side's still not gray. That shot got past my armor. What's up, boss? That. I feel like worst case scenario we miss the head we take out the arm. Here it comes. Or the leg. I'll take the leg. That hit something good. This is also acceptable. spotters. Uh, however, that doesn't mean Hoser's kind of out in the open. Uh, also, the catapult doesn't need a spotter. Oh, the catapult is going to be a spotter for them. Dang. Um, you've got stability damage. You don't need to be jumping around anymore. Or at least not right now. On the move. See if we can get lucky with the auto cannon 10. Nope, got the arm instead. Target's taking a critical hit.
having this much resolve just build up this quickly, this steadily, is, is really kind of game-breaking. I can just make a cold shot every turn. Sometimes two. It's fresh, at least. Or it was. Okay, it's not fresh anymore. That hurts. Not <laughs> fresh, no. Sorry about that. Let's see if we can take out this Orion in one quick volley. I know the odds are against us, but hey, we get lucky every so often. We don't have enough for a called shot anymore. Maybe we can crit out his own We're only taking the large laser shot. Oh man, that battle master is so badly out of place right now. Oh, but that cataphract is running hot. Internal structure damage. See, our right side is weak, so let's turn our left side towards... Well, if nothing else, it did a good job of softening him up. Coordinates are 
received. Firing all weapons. All right, that's one down. Tango down. Oof. Yes, Commander. Heading out. Critical hit. Yes, Commander. Oh, the side, I thought I was in his back. Let's see, the cataphract is already running super hot, so he's not going to be able to keep that up, really. He does have the auto cannon. Black Knight. Yeah, he's just gonna keep his medium lasers silent, probably, or the PPC. So he's like gonna be firing the auto cannon, plus probably two or three lasers. Versus, he's got more heat sinks, so he's firing at least two larges and four mediums. I'm betting. Got it. That shot went internal. All right, Cataphract, what have you got this turn? Is this a cooldown turn for you? Auto cannon? Just the auto cannon. Hurt me. Need to show my other side, maybe my backside as I run away. I'd like any retreat that we make to be a fighting retreat, but we'll see. Good to go. Just kidding, we can't run here. Take this guy out? I doubt it. Oh, the large nest, of course. Scored a critical hit. Yeah, but it's not quite what I was hoping for. And shot time? Yeah, that's what I was leaning towards. The question is do we go for the Black Knight again or the fresh cataphract? The Cataphract isn't putting out as much damage, but if we could take him out in one shot, it would be hugely advantageous. Of course, the Black Knight, even if we don't hit the head, we're gonna do some good damage. All weapons. Unless we hit him with the leg, or something stupid like that. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Good to go. Almost did strip the armor off the head. Uh, do we shoot him in the back? Is the back Orders? is the back where we want to be shooting him right now? Really want to be showing my left side to you guys. Location confirmed. C 
17% of getting a kill. Or we could go for the leg. Yeah, we'll go for the head. What's the harm? Maybe we'll get the leg too. Reporting critical hit. Waiting for orders. Wait, was that a kill? Yeah. Yeah, that was a kill. There's only two left, the Catapult and the Cataphract. Let's see, that's going to be his strong side. Is there any way we can get into his back? No. The Cataphract is still completely fresh. Why can we not get the melee on the Cataphract? DFA? <laughs> Just kidding? What? Uh, I don't know. We've still got plenty of armor on our legs. We might get a lucky head hit. I don't DFA unless... Unless really needed. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The Cataphract has a significant amount of firepower. That auto cannon 10 really hurts. I mean, if we hit him... If we hit him center torso, we wouldn't quite kill him. Left or right torso would knock out an arm. Head, of course. We would go internal on our right leg, though. If we miss, we will cry. Uh, we've got 85%. Right leg destroyed. How much damage did we take? Oh, that really hurt. Yeah, I was not expecting to lose a leg from that. Not much armor left in that location. Yeah. Okay, first things first. Get your butt up. Regain stance, Commander. Roger, damn it. My mech is limping. Yeah, that's my bad. Sorry, Decker. Confirm. <laughs> wasn't either. Yeah, um, like, it still had armor on that location. I wasn't expecting it to finish off the armor and all the structure. Decker can't survive the campaign. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try getting Decker to survive the campaign. We'll see. Commander. 
on my way. I copy. Target eliminated. Yep. Okay, if this doesn't mess him up. Oof. Target eliminated. Oh man. That was harrowing. That really was. That was definitely much closer than we like. We lost, aside from the leg that I lost by the DFA, we went internal Commander. on the Awesome's Reaper. arm, the Victor's torso. Ready for orders. All in all, just not a good scene. Locked on target. One less structure. Commander. Orders? Coordinates received. We did learn that polar biomes are good for all of our mechs. Roger that. It's going to be some time in the repair bay. Fortunately, I don't think there was anything in that leg. Ouch. We can get some Black Knight parts, we can get a Cataphract part, Catapult part, Orion. Auto cannon 10 plus, triple plus. Those are killed the most mechs today. MVP of the night. For sure. Ooh, arm mod. Oh, plus 15. Plus 15 is, is not a lot. Yeah, uh, the LRM 15 with the plus 2 damage is the one I got. Uh, there was another one that also had 50% crit, but I went for damage over crit. We also got two Black Knight parts, a Catapult part, an Orion part, Medium Laser Double Plus, and some ammo and jump jets. And yeah, we are going to need some time in the repair bay. Thirteen thousand. That was pretty much all of our profit. Ay ay ay. That was an expensive right. DFA. I'll get it in the schedule. Hundred thousand just to replace the leg. Is there an option to just make it stock?
Usually sell all my gem chests. Well, at least it isn't a Mega Mech Repair Bonanza, right? Oh man, two weeks of nothing but fixing stuff and paperwork. DFA may have been costly, but we could have lost some critical parts if you wouldn't have done it. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Um, yeah, because I think it really did help take out that cataphract a, a bit quicker than otherwise we would have. And then the rest he sinks. Or, ooh. Uh, how many slots? Three slots. Yeah, we're not going to be able to fit that. Uh, we could fit. still terrible. <laughs> you need a large laser instead of a PPC? Yeah, I came to that same conclusion. Still gives us sixty three versus ninety. And I wouldn't mind putting some jump jets on it, being a grasshopper. The targeting system. To seven pips at least. Uh, Rangefinder or maybe the comm system? Yeah, we'll go with the Rangefinder. It's a scout mech. Or at least in our in our lance it's a scout. Missions left on this planet are all three and a half skull missions. We've got that mech is still a little hot. Yeah, but I don't want to drop the large laser for another medium. Otherwise, it just would. Well, if we drop the large to a medium, instead of adding more heat sinks, we'd be reducing the heat load. That would save us four tons, which would be enough for four jump jets. So it'd run cooler on turns that it didn't jump. <clears throat> Heck, it would run a little cooler on turns that it did jump. Uh huh, because it'd be 3 from the medium plus 4 for jumping versus 8 for the large. We'll have to consider it. Um, in the meantime, 
Uh, yeah, it would do somewhat less damage and it would lose some of the long range, but the jump jets help it get into the range for the mediums, uh, as we saw with the Victor just now, uh, versus the Battlemaster, which had no jump jets and did spend a turn with just the large laser in action. Um, the difference in damage between a large laser and a medium laser is only three, tabletop speaking. Uh, whereas the heat difference is five. Better heat management means more long-term DPS. So what you're saying is I need to drop that large laser for a medium and some jump jets. <laughs> that Victor doesn't have enough weapons for my liking. Yeah, same. That auto cannon 10 is just so heavy that it didn't really... I mean, between the jump jets and the armor and everything... I know you don't like jump jets, but I do. They come in handy so frequently. I put jump jets on assault mechs. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I put jump jets on every mech that can afford them, which unfortunately isn't all of them. Do we go to Brinton and stock up on some Five Skull mission parts? And don't put jump jets on spiders. The issue with jump jets, he would be out in front and taking a beating. Um, well, the grasshopper is... I mean, I'm thinking of him for more for a backup lance than for the primary lance. And in the backup lance... Let me see here. The backup lance would be probably the Orion, the Black Knight, an Awesome, and the Grasshopper. So it'd be more of a more heavy than assault, I think. Um, granted, the Grasshopper is at the bottom end of of the the heavy mech spectrum, but I think with maximum armor and jump jets for evasion, it might work. If you have at least three jump range, you can get over obstacles. Just because you have it doesn't mean you need to use it. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Unless you're giving up a large laser for it, in which case... Yeah, I'd rather have the weapons to kill things. I mean, I wish I could do both, to be completely honest. So do we travel to Brinton for some Five Skull Challenge before we do our priority mission at Coromadir? Climate Tropical. Climate Arctic. Sure that sounds like fun? 60,000 sea bills, which we can easily afford. I try to have no jump jets keep everyone together. Rumble seat. The, car, the Argos command deck begins shaking. Again. I can't stand this anymore, Sumir says. This has been happening every two and a half hours like clockwork. It makes me want to break something. Every 2.4 hours, to be precise. Dr. Mirad's tone is infuriatingly reasonable, and only while the Argo is under thrust. Sumir flashes you an exasperated look. Why can't we get this fixed? After 17 seconds, the, sh the shaking stops. Right on schedule. Um... 100,000 sea bills, and always pick blue, right? Morale increased by one. The morning briefing begins on a high note. Dr. Murad, I believe you finally have some good news for me. 
With grim satisfaction, she agrees. Yes, I've been waiting for the final structural reinforcement work to be done before recalibrating the rotation controllers. With your go-ahead, I can take care of it today. Ninety minutes later, Dr. Mirad calls up from engineering. I've restarted the pod rotation controller, and that will quell the problem indefinitely. And there's no risk of damage, you ask her? No risk, she says. I finally feel like I'm getting to know this old bird. Quirks and all. Okay, well... A large laser will give you more first round punch, losing it and picking up mediums will give you more damage later in the fight. Uh... Yeah, let me drop the large for a medium and jump jets. I think I'm liking the sound of that build. And it, it would be more heat efficient on the turns that it doesn't jump. Job's done, Commander. Welcome to the Grease Pit, Commander. You need something to punch some holes for those medium lasers to find crits in, at least that's how I play. Uh, that's what the Gauss Rifle is for. <laughs> Crobane, hey, how's it going? Um, thanks for the follow. I'm glad you could join us. Uh, unfortunately, I am just about to wrap up tonight's episode. Um, but yeah, um, I was just, uh, well, I'm sure you've been paying attention. You know that we were discussing how to outfit this grasshopper. Um, but yeah, as soon as I'm done with this traveling bit, I'm probably going to wrap it up for the night. Another two days on that. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. Our next day is just about gone, Commander. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Crobane. Yes, indeed. No overtime tonight? Uh, we're a few minutes over, but no, um, I was planning on shutting it down on schedule tonight, sorry. <laughs> Never does overtime when I'm here. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't help it that you weren't here last week. I do want to see just real quick what contracts we have available. It was fun as always. Hey, I appreciate that. I'm glad you guys could all join me. Um, it's always a pleasure having company on this journey that we're on. Didn't finish connecting, that'd be nice. And of course there are no contracts available on this planet. Because why would there be? Anyway. This is where we're going to call it tonight. I'll go ahead and save it here. <laughs> Thanks again for joining me. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe. Uh, thinking about downloading Mega Mech slash Mech HQ again. Hey, uh, I would uh, like to offer my full support <laughs> to that course of action. You don't have enough favor with those people to get level 5 missions from them. Well, I didn't know that... I, those were the only factions that had missions available. I'm <laughs> watching at the last three. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Um, yeah. Thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next week.